This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln on June 1st, 2020. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. It's Monday morning here in Lincoln. Yesterday I spent the afternoon downtown with local clergy helping to support the Black Lives Matter protests at the Capitol. And last night, I went to sleep to the sounds of rubber bullets firing and helicopters overhead. Noises that are plenty familiar to me and Stacy in Baltimore and in New York, but that we hadn't heard before in Lincoln, Nebraska. And for the first time in her short life, Ailish woke up in the middle of the night from a nightmare and could not be consoled in her own room. She eventually fell back asleep, tucked in with Stacy. There's a lot of fear in the world right now. There's uncertainty, the pandemic is still going on. And the context of the pandemic makes the work of justice making a lot harder. And I'm not going to pretend I know how to solve this through protests or through curfews or through any of the different ways that folks in this town and towns all across the country are trying to come with, to grips with June of 2020. And I meant what I said on Sunday morning that I'm pretty sure that the answers are not going to come from someone who looks and sounds like me. But I do know that we serve, that I serve a church of faithful people. And that means that we have faith, we have hope, even when times are uncertain, when the hard times are really hard. In the book of Psalms, about a third of the poems are lament. They follow a pattern describing what has befallen the writer predicting what might happen, and then in almost every case, ending with trust in God. We have a lot of names for the divine in our tradition. But whatever your theology, I hope you can hear Psalm 13 as a poem of despair and a poem of hope. How long, O oh Lord, the psalmist writes, Will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes or I will sleep the sleep of death. And my enemy will say I have prevailed. My foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. Have a good night. Follow your conscience. Stay safe. I'll see you tomorrow.